my cat is currently trying to get out of my room, so. So if it looks like I put in some effort for my hair today, totally not true. So if you are not yet subscribed, click this box right here. Just click it. Hey Glamies, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing so super duper fantastic and just having a wonderful, wonderful day and changing the world around you. Um, I have been so... If you follow me on social media, you would know that this week has not been one of the easiest weeks for me. Um, I just have had so much going on. Like, I feel like I was constantly trying to catch up with myself, or I don't know if you've ever felt like that, just give this video a thumbs up. Um, but today I decided to um, do a short little talk through tutorial for you. I recently picked up the Blushed Nudes palette and this is by Maybelline. Not stress how much I love this makeup palette. Um, they're just really warm colors, really um, warm, pinky nudes for the springtime, so I've been loving that. It is the sister palette to the Nudes palette by Maybelline, and I love this one as well. Um, and I feel like they complement each other really well. I feel like they complement each other really well. Um, I have been creating like endless looks with these two palettes. I think that they are um, good dupes to the Naked palettes um, simply because, you know, a lot of the color variations are there and they're sister palettes and they're so much cheaper. I think when this one came out, I spent $12 for it and um, I was like so ecstatic. And then I saw this one on Facebook and somebody was like, hey, guess what? They have a blushed nudes palette. I don't know if it's limited edition, da 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 da. Um, I thought I would pick it up and I was like, crap, like my town is the worst. Like, I kind of just gave up on getting this palette, but I went to my Walmart and it was the last one left and they were back ordered by like two weeks. So I was pretty lucky. So I'm going to be using this palette today and I'm going to pair it with my NYX Love in Paris palette, which I've also been loving. I mean, these colors are fantastic. And look at the little side detailing. There's like a little bow clasp and I think that that is so cute like ah, just get in my makeup bag. I'm just going to jump into the makeup tutorial and um, I have my foundation done and I have my brows done and everything like that. If you want me to do like an updated like foundation routine because it has changed like drastically like I'm one of those people that I have to change it drastically because my skin changes so much but you know. But yeah, let's jump into the makeup look. My lashes and my face was clean before I sat down to do my foundation for this video. Um, I removed all my makeup from earlier and just made sure I'm starting with a fresh face for you guys. So I just take that and I apply it with the um, little application brush that comes inside of it. And I just blend it out with my fingers because, you know... Sometimes skin to skin is the best way to go. And this is the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I got it for a dollar at Walmart, so can't go wrong with that. And it works amazingly. Like, I was so surprised. I'm going to be using three brushes, and this is the e.l.f. Um, defining eye brush, eye crease brush, and the e.l.f. blending eye brush. I am going to take my Blushed Nudes palette, and I'm going to take um, the big um, end of the application brush that comes with it actually, which I don't normally use these, but I found this one was actually really helpful to get um, the high point of my brow bone. I'm taking this like ultra white color and just applying that like right underneath my eyebrow and into my, um, the curve of my eyebrow because that will highlight the high points of my face. And then I'm taking the small end of the application brush and I am just going to go in to the inner corner of my eye and highlight the top and bottom of the inner corner. So I'm just going to apply this to my inner corner 
Um, the brighter your inner corners are, the less sleepy you're going to look, the more awake you will look, and you will just look so well put together. So I just apply that. Then what I do, which I kind of do mine a little bit backwards, I fill in my crease before I fill in my, um, my lid. Um, so I am going to take my crease color, which is actually from my NYX Love in Paris palette. And this is going to be the first crease color I use, which sounds a little bit weird. So I'm just going to take this really pretty um, gold color and I'm going to warm up my crease with that. The next crease color I am going to be using is this really brassy, bronzy um, pink color from the Blushed Nudes palette. And I have been loving this duo in my crease lately. And this just kind of gives it a little more depth, a little more color, um, makes it a little more, I don't know, it intrigues me more. So I love this and I'm only putting it like in the outer corner of my crease and um, blending it down to my outer corner of my eye. This really pretty like soft pale peachy color and I am going to apply that to um, the lid of my eye just to get it to pop a little bit more with the darker colors we just put in. And it will really just help highlight the um, brightness of your inner corner because this isn't too harsh of a color. Then, now that that is done, I'm going to take my trusty blending brush and just blend, blend, blend all of this out so that it doesn't look so harsh, there's not as harsh of lines, and you can go and blend out the highlighting you did underneath your eyebrows um, just to make your eyeshadow flow a little bit more and just to make it, you know, a little more... Um, I don't know, a little neater looking. The darkest color I'm going to be using is in this NYX palette and it is the dark um, raspberry color there. I am going to take my crease brush and just ever so slightly apply that to the very outer edge of my crease. So I put this on, it looks crazy, don't worry, because you are going to blend again just not as harsh ever so slightly like seriously you don't even have to go super duper hard because you want this color to pop but not look like you have pink eye so there is the eye look um it's very simple very you know neutralish for the spring then what i'm going to do is take this flower lash knockout volumizing mascara that i've been raving about if you watched my um favorites video this was the mascara from my favorites video and i am just going to um apply that to my top and lower lashes I chose not to tight line my lashes for this video um, because I feel like it harshens up the look a little too much. So I'm not going to be using any eyeliner. Just let the mascara do its own little thing. My lips are very white so what I did was I blotted them with my um, foundation so that I could get a clean, clear, um, fresh, like, lip and not have to worry about the red of my lip showing through so much. So I'm going to take my baby lips, um, sunscreen SPF 20 and just moisturize my lips before I apply, um, lipstick. My J Cat Wonder Lip Paint and I'm unsure which color this is in. Um, Oh, it's in Red Potion, and I got this in my Ipsy bag a couple of months ago, and it took me a while to, like, actually get a feel for it, but now that I have, like, been using it a lot more, I absolutely love it, and I'm just taking a small little concealer brush that I had, like, five of, um, and I'm just applying it with that because I feel like if you don't apply it with a brush, it doesn't look quite right, so I just take that and I draw a line 
down my lip and I outline I outline my lower lip with this color and then I start to blend it in with the line that I created halfway across my lip. And it gives it this really berry matte finish. Um, and then for my widow's peak, I take just another drop again, like one drop is all you need for an entire lip. And um, that's still like pushing it. So I draw the same line down the top of my lip, but then I draw an X to get the shape of my cupid's bow. So there's that. Um, I have kind of a slight definition of um, my cupid's bow. I've been trying the whole overlined lip look and I'm still not a master at it. I still don't think, you know, I've got the, you know, look down, but um, I have been trying. If you want your blush and your eyeshadow to kind of correlate together and kind of be amongst the same color, you can totally take like your eyeshadow color and like dilute it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two top colors right here and just mix them together a little bit. I will kind of make a fish face to find out exactly where um, I should put it. I found that that is the way that kind of works best for me is um, using my fish face kind of as a clue. I'm going to take a brush and just blend this out so I don't look so ghastly. But yeah, so I think that this is my completed makeup look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little talk through makeup tutorial that I did for you. Um, I kind of want to start doing more makeup tutorials because I think the last one I did was my go-to fall look. Like, it was definitely go-to fall. Um, I've been super hyper today, so if I'm like, bleh, like, don't don't stress about it. So if you recreate this look any way, shape, or form, I would love to see it. So just, you know, tag your girl on Instagram or Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of the Glam Fam. If you're not yet subscribed, click this box right here. Just click it. Anywho, I think I'm going to go let my cats into my bedroom. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!